Hey guys, welcome to vtshacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about principle of mathematical induction. So let us consider P of n is a statement which is true for n is equal to 1 and it is true for n plus 1. Whenever it is true for n then the statement P of n is true for all the natural numbers n. Now let me explain this concept with the help of an example. So first let us prove 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus so on plus 2n minus 1 is equal to n square. So first let us consider the given statement as p of n is equal to 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus so on plus 2n minus 1 is equal to n square. Now let us consider the terms 2n minus 1 is equal to n square. Now by substituting n is equal to 1 we get here 2 into 1 minus 1 is equal to 1 whole square. So we get here 2 into 1 as 2 minus 1 would be 1 is equal to 1 whole square is 1. So as LHS is equal to RHS we can say that P of 1 is true. Now assuming that P of n plus 1 is true let us substitute n with n plus 1. So we get here 2 into n plus 1 minus 1. By multiplying 2 with the group n plus 1 we get 2n plus 2 into 1 is 2 minus 1. And therefore this would come as 2n plus 2 minus 1 is 1. And this would be the next term of the given statement. Now by adding the next term that is 2n plus 1 on the both sides of the statement p of n. We get here 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus so on plus 2n minus 1 plus 2n plus 1 is equal to n square plus 2n plus 1. So coming to the RHS side we observe that n square plus 2n plus 1 is in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square which is equal to a plus b whole square. So we get here n plus 1 whole square. So here we observe that the RHS side of the given statement is n square and we have proved that it is equal to n plus 1 whole square. Therefore we can say that p of n is true for all natural numbers. So this was a basic introduction on principle of mathematical induction. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtshacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.